okay, before you leave this video, because this seems complex, because case statements look like programming and super advanced mathematics, no, it is not, it is quite simple, and I will show it with a use case. If I want to ask you which channels perform better between organic and paid channels, what will you say? Does Google Analytics offer me a breakdown to visualize them? The answer is no, they don't. When you go to medium or to source, the options are, for instance, organic, social, they are CPM, CPC, but they don't group it between organic and paid, so we can do it. Let's create a dimension that lets us break down our acquisition channels between organic and paid on Google Data Studio. I already created this table and I already created this dimension and you may be wondering how I did it. The first thing is that I will remove this channel type, which is a dimension I just created. But before that, I will show you the formula. I will copy it and then I will save it for later and I will remove it. So in this case, I want to create a table that displays the medium and new users. But instead of new users, I would like to display conversions. I, will, I want to go again with goal completions. I am visualizing conversions by medium and I have none, which is not measured, not set, CPC, referral, organic, affiliate, CPM. What about if we group them? We can group these mediums by paid or organic by saying this. I want to say that CPC and CPM are paid channels and affiliate, organic, referral, none and not set are organic. Let's create it. So I will go to other dimension and I will create a new field. And our new field will be called and this new dimension will be called channel type. How do I say Google Data Studio to group these mediums into paid and organic? It is quite simple and I will paste the formula that I already made. So let's explain this exercise. I want to group mediums by organic and paid, so I need conditions. The condition says, if medium is CPC or CPM, then it is paid. If not, it is organic and I want to express it. When I want to start a condition on Google Data Studio or any SQL query, this is SQL by the way, we will start with a case statement. So always, when you do conditionals, start with case. After we use case, we will set the condition. When medium, which is the value that I mentioned I want to use to calculate the new formula, then what is the rule I want to set? This is a function that expresses this or this or this it replaces the or. So if medium is CPC or CPM or more values separated by commas, then it is paid. If this is not the case, else organic. And let's calculate it. And let's see if it works. Okay, none is organic, perfect, because it is not CPC or CPM, not set organic. CPC is paid because it is affected by this rule. Referral organic, 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 of course. Affiliate organic and CPM is paid. It works well. What I can do now is that I can remove the original dimension and we have a new way to analyze our data. We can see that we can see that most of our conversions happen on organic channels. I understand that case statements look complex in the beginning, but once you understand them, because they are pretty simple actually, if you want to know more about case statements, like use cases, like formulas that you can copy and paste. I encourage you to go to Porter Metrics and visit our blog, our tutorials, our templates. In a few times you understand that it is so easy that anyone can learn it. And the good news is that you will look as the smartest person in the room because most of people are afraid of SQL. Let's go to the next step, which is regular expressions, which is the most advanced thing on Data Studio. I say most advanced, but it is actually pretty simple too. So let's go to regex.